Hello, and thanks for watching this video and end-to-end -end perspective on the accountant's copy process. Now, I'm going to start as the client in my QuickBooks profile, and then we will create a transfer file. We'll send it to the accountant. The accountant will use their QuickBooks account edition to convert that transfer file into a QuickBooks accountant's copy file, the .qba file. I'm going to do a little work in it. We'll go over kind of the, uh, the advantages and also some limitations uh, in the accountant's copy file. Then we will create the change file and send those changes back to the client for import. And I'm going to show you the whole thing end to end. As well, we're going to be using that accountant's file transfer service, we're using Intuit servers to transfer the, tr the QBX file to the accountant and the QBY file from the accountant back to the client. Okay, so I'm in the client's profile and they go to the file menu, accountant's copy, and they're going to choose to send it to accountant. They click next. They do choose a dividing date, and I'm going to do uh, end of the last month. Should be fine. Then click next, and you're going to put in the accountant's email address. And of course, my name is the client, and click next. And you have to put in a password. And you have to re-enter it, and make sure you give that to your accountant. And then go ahead and click send. All windows will be closed. It's going to create the actual accountant's transfer file and send that to the Intuit servers. And once it's sent, your client will see this. Your accountant's copy file has been successfully uploaded to the accountant's copy file transfer server. And make sure you provide the transfer password to your account so they can retrieve the file. I'm going to click OK here. So now I'm the accountant and I get this email. Now your client also gets an email just telling them, telling them that the transfer file was uploaded successfully to the Intuit servers. And the accountant's going to go ahead and download the .qbx file and put it somewhere on their uh, computer, which I'm going to do right now in a folder that I have. Go ahead and just save that. Again, it's an accountant's transfer file that I've received from my client that was using the accountant's file transfer service. And then, of course, I'm in my QuickBooks accountant. I'm just going to go to the file menu, or you can click open or restore an existing company and choose convert an accountant's copy transfer file. Either way, when I go file accountant's copy, notice that the account edition is the one that has these other options where I can actually open and convert a transfer file, uh, view export change to the client, which I'll show you later, even convert an accountant's copy to a fully functional .qbw QuickBooks company file. Remember, my client in Pro only had those five options on the right. Okay, but as the accountant, I have the ability to convert. So I'm going to go ahead and click open and convert transfer file. I'm going to go ahead to the folder where it would be and grab the file and convert it to a .qba file. And here's where you'd put in the password. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the password that Ray gave me. Go ahead and click OK. And now it's going to give me the option to save the file. So I'm going to go ahead and save that now and let it save. Okay, once the file is converted from the .qbx, the transfer file, to an accountant's copy file, the .qba, it'll just tell you that there's a dividing date. So I can do all the work on 1-31-2014 and before, while my client's working in the current period of 2-1 and uh, through the present day. And that's the best thing about the accountant's copy, is we're working in two copies of the same file in different periods, each doing work, and then I can send my changes back to them, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, there's some good information on accounts copy. I do encourage you to uh, click on the link. Some great help, help articles working with an accountant's copy, also between multiple versions or years. The reason why it says that is with the accountant's copy, you can actually get a transfer file from a prior year client, one year back only. So I could have gotten this from my client who's in 2013, converted it to a 2014.qba file, and send the changes back to 13. It's the only loophole going down a year important. Another uh, great resource is I click OK here and click on the help and go to QuickBooks help. A couple important help articles right in the QuickBooks help. Uh, what an accountant can do in the accountant's copy. It's important. Breaks it down uh, by list uh, transactions and reconciliation. There are some restrictions, right? You're not doing much with payroll. You know, I can process payroll forms, but I can't make a payroll adjustment, for example. So really, um, payroll's pretty much locked out. 
Um, and there's a few other restrictions. So definitely read over that. But for the most part, anything that has a peach color, you can, we'll go back to the client, anything white regarding reconciliations. If you do one in the, in the, uh, before the dividing date, that will go back to the client. If you do one in the current period, that will not go back. It's really just for your information. However, if your client uh, does have a transaction dated before the dividing date, uh, the reconciliation will become undone for them when they import the changes. So it's important to read, uh, this information for what an accountant can do in an accountant's copy. And again, you can find that right under help search for accountant's copy. Okay. So I'm going to do a few things here. I'm going to go to the client data review because I can do much of that there. And just some quick things just to reclassify some transactions. I think they have some uncategorized expense. So I'm going to select all that and move it to the appropriate account here. Tools and miscellaneous equipment, click reclassify. And I'll also go and work on the troubleshoot the prior account balances. I could make my journal entry. Keep in mind, you can, if you're just doing journal entries, you can actually send journal entries a lot quicker process. But if you're actually doing other things, cleaning up lists, etc., things other than journal entries, accounts copy is going to be very helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and make this adjusting entry. And go and click save and close and do a reversal. And I think that's pretty much all the work I'm going to do at this point. Maybe there's some unapplied payments and credits. Yeah, just apply this bill and the credit to the bill. Go ahead and take care of that. So now I've made some changes, right? You've done all the work. You short up the balances, etc. cetera. Uh, just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going really quickly through it. But you would do the work you can. And then I'm going to go to the file menu accountant's copy as the account I'm going to view export changes for my client and here are the changes that I made and I'm going to go ahead and click send changes to client you can also put in a note here you know I could say Ray look out for email about how to import change file and then I'm going to go ahead and click send changes to client. Did want to point out that you can save it as a PDF. And also, if you're not using the accountant's copy file transfer service, you can just create the change file, the .qby, and slap it on an email and send it to your client that way. But most people are going to send it back the same way you got it from your client using that accountant's copy file transfer service. Okay, send changes to client. So when sending the change file back, you're going to put in your name. Uh, any notes for the client that you want as well, click send. Notice that this box notify me when the client imports the changes. So you'll actually get an email as the accountant. So you don't have to wonder, go out there three months later and it still shows accountant's changes pending right at the top of their file. Go ahead and click send. And much like going out from the client in their version of QuickBooks, the accountant will also get a successful pop-up. Go ahead and click OK. And then we'll go back to the client side and look at the email they get and import the change file. All right, so now we're at the client's place of business. Notice that they get an email as well, just letting them know that the accountant has finished making changes to their file and that they can actually import the change file if I want. Notice there's nothing attached, so your client won't have to wonder where to save it or anything. They simply go to the file menu, accountant's copy, and import accountant's changes from the web. So let's do that right now. Again, the client's going to go to file, Accountants copy and import changes from the web. And then of course the change file not yet incorporated, but it's right there. They can even open up, uh, click on the plus signs to open up and see the detail of the changes you made. Save it as a PDF, although that is going to be done automatically when I incorporate the accountants changes. Uh, and then they just click on incorporate accountants changes. QuickBooks will close all open windows. Of course, it's going to prompt to make a backup before the changes are imported. It's going to do the backup, and then you'll see it incorporate the changes and finally create the PDF of the change file that will be saved in the same location as the client's file. In the final step, the accountant's been notified that the client has imported the changes. You'll actually get an email that'll let you know. Go ahead and click OK and close. And notice that the awaiting accountant's changes or accountant's changes pending and parenthetical flag at the top of file is now gone. And the end-to-end -end process is now finished. If you have an enterprise client, you could use the Enterprise Account Edition to 
fully convert the enterprise transfer file, do the changes, and send back the change file much in the same exact fashion if you, as you would use or see me done with my Pro or Premier clients using QuickBooks Accountant Edition. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.